What is up guys? Welcome back to Dieter Plays. I'm going to show you how to get the purple sword. Okay, so this is for the RB battles. The game is piggy. Link is in the description. And right now you can actually get VIP servers for free. So shout out to Minitune for making these free. Uh, so get yourself a VIP server. You can do this on your own, but it's even better if you have friends. You want to set the mode to trader mode and go to chapter one in book two. Okay, so all of you guys have to go to book two. Uh, if you own the VIP server, set those modes. So first thing you want to do here, it's in the alleys. Go to this back area. There's those numbers that are on the wall. And you have to go up to those numbers. See these ones right here? Set it to 722. So somehow that stands for RBB. I see how the, you know, second letter of the alphabet is B and B. But uh, for some reason, the 7, I'm, I'm confused. But maybe that looks like an R to people? I don't know. Anyways, set it to 722. Okay, so now it's going to be a little bit of a waiting game. You want to go over to the uh, the area where's the cafeteria. I think it's the restaurant or the cafeteria. It's right where you started, but basically off to the left. There's all those chairs over there. Now in this back corner, there is this chair. And if you wait till about, it's going to be a couple minutes, sometime between seven and eight minutes, you'll see a button appear. Now you have to be the one person who presses these buttons in order to get the sword. So everyone in your server has to be helping to basically get one person to get the sword. So uh, that's the way it works. Maybe you guys take take turns, help each other. Hit that one. And then there's the second button right here on the other side of the laundromat. And then you, so you just take a right from the alley over there. Now uh, come around here and there is one more button here. It is on the other side of the pillar huge shout out by the way to blazies and uh fancy suit and tie and deadbolt all these guys for helping me here uh so right here we hit that third button you hear a little tone okay now uh at this point go and find rash and let him oof you because you have to go to a different part we're going to book two and we're going to instead we're chapter two, but the mode is going to be infection. So if you do infection and you end up becoming the piggy, you're gonna have to go back and go to chapter one and start all over again. So set somebody else as piggy if you can. You know, so here we've got fancy suit and tie. Shout out to all these guys, Musa, Musical Wolf, Deadbolt, Noobish. You are amazing. These guys knew the map. Silent Stalker right here. These guys really helped me out and helped me put this together. So once you get into here, chapter two, you guys are in infection mode you've got only a bot and hopefully that bot is leaving you alone and just going and standing in a corner somewhere so this is the store you, what you have to do is find several objects there's three objects uh there's a potion there is a little bear and there is a game boy console and then you have to put those items in the store so first just look here and these items are always located it sounds like in the exact same location some people have said that they're random but they're not these are all located in the same location so we're just kind of walking around these shelves right here that's where you're gonna have to end up putting these items at the end and those items kind of randomly go in different spots in the shelves so you have to kind of go around and just kind of click and run into the shelves but we're going to do that here later uh also you're going to want to make sure you kind of go through the map in general and as you can see like uh all right we've got the potion right here in this room where the grass is okay so you want to click on the potion right there uh, but also, you I guys want to make sure you know where the teal key, the green key, and the purple key are because you're going to want to have to get that, know where those are to go through the final door. You can do it yourself and do those one at a time to get through it, but again, it's better if you have a server with some friends. So now that I've got the potion, what I need to do and what I'm doing right now is going through the store and I have to find the shelf that will let me put the potion on it. So I'm just walking up against the shelves. I'm clicking on the shelves, going around to every single shelf here in the store. And eventually one is going to let you put the potion down. So we're just going around, going around. Uh, there's, there's some on each side. Make sure you've checked each one. If it's not working and you keep going through and clicking, then go to the other side of the store and keep trying. So these ones definitely not working for me right now. So we're going to the other side of the store over here now this one right here going through there we go now the potion let me put it down so you guys can uh put that item down now what we want to do is go back to the parking garage area so just kind of follow this path around to the parking garage area we need to find the bear which is around the other side of the green car so click on the bear you can grab that now and again we're going to go and put it down on these shelves in one of the random shelves 
uh, in the same way we did with the potion. So the potion is over here on this shelf. Uh, keep walking around to those shelves. Just like the potion, basically, you're just going to have to find the spot that you can actually put the bear down. So right here, I'm clicking. We got the bear down right there. So we've got one more item that we are worried about at this point, and that is the little game console. So just go here, the Gorilla Ways, right here, and you can see this little... Uh, this little chair under this chair you're gonna find a little game console which is like a game boy now this is gonna go on one of the end caps of these shelves so just keep going see these little end caps that are uh, over there so eventually you will find the one that lets you hold uh, the game boy so uh, again I, it seems like this is random and it's not always the same end caps or the same locations that you put these you just keep going walk into those click on those and eventually you will find find the right place to put it uh that obviously is not a place to put it i'm going here in the wrong direction so don't go in the wrong direction like i am right now you can come around over to the other side hopefully you'll have a friend like my friend silently and we've got some more end caps over here to click on clicking on this one clicking on this one maybe try this one over here oh not working on this one over here but there's other end caps and that's the thing is like it may not necessarily work the first time when you click on it uh because i've clicked on a lot of these see it didn't work the first time i clicked on this end cap so just make sure you go through just click on these end caps go through make sure you just kind of get it through so uh now at this point keep going around make sure you've found those keys so you may have to go through uh the level find the cyan key which is the one that is kind of light blue the green key which is obviously the green key and the purple key which are basically the uh the russo the sabrina and the dj colors so uh cut the grass whatever you've got to do get through the level if you need to go and find uh, a video that shows you how to get through chapter two here in book two and then once you get those three keys there's going to be a door that you're going to have to go to so i'm going to show you basically how to get that door uh from the location that we started so we're going to go back here to the parking lot and then we're going to show you how to get there so um also if you guys are in a server with other friends you can get one person to hold uh each key like one person to hold the cyan key one person to hold the green key one person to hold the purple key so you and two other friends you can hold all three all three of the keys and it will make it a little bit easier for you guys than to try to set these down so here we are from the parking lot you go through this spot i'm going to show you exactly how to get to this little door that you need to get through to get the sword so you go through the back of the store and go back here to the right go past this guy and go past this little window area and then see this little cracked door there's a little crack right here and then if you have all three of the keys you will open it and then you will get in there and you will get the purple sword there uh so guys that is how you get the purple sword here for the rb battles uh make sure if you're new here i would love to have you subscribe hit that notification bell and thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you guys later